we practiced on that all week in practice and it failed a couple times because they, they were ready to take it out of the playbook. But uh, we finally got it right towards the end of the week. And um, I'm surprised he actually ran it in the game. Do you like having the tight end in there to run behind from time to time? Or how yeah, he's like, out? yeah, we have really good tight ends that, that block exceptionally well. And um, it's fun running behind them guys. What Mike, was, just to, oh, go ahead. Sure. What was Coach Day like in his way? I mean, it looked like he couldn't help but keep a smile off of his face the whole day. Like, what was he like for you guys in the past 24 hours? Um, I'll say Coach Day is, is, is a really good coach, you know. Um, he's always thinking of how to make us better as a group and as a team. And um, I'll say he did it. He's a perfect guy to, to pick to do this job, and he's doing a good job. What has he done this month that makes you say that? Or what things he's done to try to... Uh, uh, the, just the little things, you know, the stuff that, he, that he's seen slip a little bit, um, the stuff that he know we can get better at. He's always hitting you with something to make you a better player, and that's, that's, that's what you need in the coach. You said he was having trouble with his whistle before the game. Did you guys pick up on that? No, I didn't actually. Was know. he nervous at all today? Uh, I didn't see it, I guess. I don't know. He probably was. <laughs> Mike, just all of the health issues that you've gone over the past year or so, and, you know, you know the emotions you were showing after the Cotton Bowl last year to, you know, what, I think you had a third of your yardage total last season just today. I mean, just how did that feel to be such a big contribution on this team today after all the stuff you've gone through in the past year or so? It felt, it felt good um, to, to finally be able to play healthy and go out there and not think about a leg injury or just have fun, you know, do everything you can to have the team win. And it felt good to actually be, to be able to go out there and do that. Mike, who was faster than you were uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. If you got into a race, do you think you would beat him? Because, uh, like, I think that the, the general assumption from the fan base is you're the power guy that's going to run people over, and he's the juke guy, or the cut guy, or vision guy. But, like, it seems when you get into open field that you're every bit as fast as he is. I mean, is that fair? Yeah, I think it's fair, yeah. Like, how much did today feel like Michigan State last year? Were you, were you have any thoughts about that? Today one time. Did, did today feel like Michigan State last year at all for you? With some of the big runs that you ripped off and yeah, you yeah. surpassed your career high. Yeah, it, it, that's that's me healthy. Uh, when the line's blocking good, like they normally always do, and I'm doing my job, and quarterback, every, if everyone doing their job, I just I feel like anybody can get off, you know. You guys like guys like Master Brian got in. Yeah, the, yeah, they yeah. got in the end zone. What have you seen out of them the past couple of months since they've been on campus? Uh, they're two guys that just, they like sponges. They take in everything you tell them. Um, Master T is a real quiet guy, but he takes in everything you tell him, and he go out and show it on the field. Uh, Brian Sneed, he's, he's going to be really good. Um, both of them guys together, it, it shouldn't be a drop off when we both leave. Uh, so I, I just think, yeah. Happy with the touches tonight? Yeah.